Imagine drifting through the infinite void of space, where silence reigns and the vast emptiness stretches in every direction. Out there, far beyond the comfort of Earth, you're utterly alone. On our planet, even in the most remote places, there's always a glimmer of hope that you might find another living being. But in the cold expanse of space, it's just you and whatever unknown forces may be lurking in the darkness. In this eerie isolation, where there's no one to hear your calls for help, encountering something unusual or terrifying takes on a whole new level of dread. What would you do if you came face to face with the unknown, with no one to turn to? The stories you're about to witness delve into the unsettling experiences of astronauts who found themselves alone in the vastness of space, confronted by sights and sounds that defy explanation. Prepare to journey into the unknown, where fear has no boundaries and the only certainty is the unsettling mystery of what lies beyond. The International Space Station has made it possible for humans to have an ongoing presence in space. Human beings have been living in space every day since the first crew arrived, but ever since it was launched into space, there have also been many unexplained sightings of unidentified flying objects near the station, which have sometimes coincided with NASA shutting the live feed shortly after. Amid increasing speculations surrounding alien presence, a new video that went viral online that made many believe that advanced extraterrestrials are in touch with astronauts aboard the International Space Station. One of NASA's latest live streams has produced images of as many as 10 unidentified flying objects hovering around the International Space Station. The objects were spotted by an eagle-eyed space watcher who believes the live feed actually captured the UFOs, forming a circle above the southern Atlantic Ocean. The conspiracy theorist arrived at his conclusion after carefully watching the footage that shows orb-like objects moving past the camera. The footage has been widely circulated and has led to discussions and several theories among UFO and space enthusiasts on social media. The first screenshot showed the orb-like objects. Posting the shocking discovery, the UFO hunter said, This is a screen grab from the International Space Station above the South Atlantic at around 8.30 a.m. Ten unknown objects traveling with the space station above the planet Earth, he added. Since then, many theorists and UFO hunters have commented on the images and have also shared theories of their own. A user wrote, What it looks like to me is there's a whole bunch of Black Knight probes. Then something even more bizarre happened. When a Russian cosmonaut tweeted about potential UFOs, Ivan Wagner, a Russian cosmonaut currently orbiting the Earth aboard the International Space Station, claimed to have captured footage of potential UFOs while recording video of the Southern Lights. Space guests, or how I filmed the new time-lapse, Wagner wrote in a tweet featuring the video. The one-minute video shows the Aurora Australis passing near Antarctica and Australia. You will see something else, not only the Aurora, he wrote. And that is what grabbed the attention of people. Did this cosmonaut know something? Was he hinting at something? Or was it simply in jest? The footage shows the curved edge of the Earth at night with the green swirl of the aurora moving across its surface and several star pinpoints visible in the background. At 9 to 12 seconds, five objects appear flying alongside with the same distance, Wagner wrote in a follow-up tweet. What do you think those are? Meteors? Satellites? Or, uh... He added that the video was shot in a time-lapse. So the brief flash of the objects actually lasted for about 52 seconds in real time. Wagner did not claim to see the phenomenon as it happened, and no one else aboard the ISS has acknowledged it. He also did not indicate exactly when the footage was captured. Whatever the phenomenon was, it does appear as a string of lights arranged in a clear, angled line in the video. Roscosmos, Russia's space agency, shared the video on its own Twitter account on Wednesday. Imagine you're alone in a tiny spacecraft. It's your first time up there, all alone, in endless space. Then suddenly, a knocking sound. That's what happened to China's first man in space, Yang Liwei, on his first ever flight in 2003. Yang said that the knock from the outside of his spaceship was quite strange and scary. He went on to describe the mysterious knocking 
as the sound of a wooden hammer on an iron bucket. When he looked out of the spaceship, he did not see anyone. While nobody has been able to explain this mysterious knock, other Chinese astronauts in later missions, too, reported hearing similar sounds. In 1969, in fact, a test flight for the moon landing mission orbited the moon, and on the far side, while cut off from all radio contact with Earth, the astronauts heard a strange sound, one that they couldn't explain. A small step for man, a giant leap for mankind. These renowned words by Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, were only further enhanced by his sightings of not just a UFO, but a whole parking lot full of UFOs. Picture that. During the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, after Armstrong landed on the moon, it is believed that NASA lost transmission with the space mission for about two minutes. It is rumored that during that time, Armstrong sent a secret message to NASA saying, these babies were huge, sir. Enormous. Oh God, you wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you there are other spacecrafts out here, lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They are on the moon, watching us. While there are many such tales about Armstrong and his first moon landing, he himself is quite secretive and reticent about his experiences. He will neither confirm nor deny such rumors, perhaps because there is likely no factual basis for these accounts, or perhaps because they are so fantastical that if true, they would create a huge uproar. NASA astronaut Dr. Story Musgrave had a weird tale to tell. He claims he saw an eight-foot-long white snake just casually floating through space. A man with a solid reputation, it is difficult to debase his claims as untrue. When it was suggested that it could have been a hose detached from the spaceship, he strongly refused that allegation. Many have claimed that the sighting could just be space junk. But Musgrave was quite adamant that the white space snake or eel had its own propulsion technique. Moreover, he says that he saw it twice. I guess you can be wrong once, but twice? I don't know what to say. Seeing one UFO is thrilling, perhaps even intoxicating. But what would you say to an array of UFOs parked linearly? Astronaut Gordon Cooper, who flew both the Mercury 9 and the Gemini 5, claims to have seen an entire convoy of UAPs during his time with the Air Force. Interestingly, a decade later, he came across something very similar. In 1963, while on a solo journey around the Earth, when he was just finishing his 22-orbit trip, he saw a green, glowing object hurtling towards his Mercury capsule. The scene was picked up on radar by the tracking station in Muchea, Australia, which makes it quite extraordinary and very believable. When he narrated the incident to the United Nations, he said that these extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews were visiting from other planets. He said that, while most astronauts are reluctant to discuss UFOs, in 1951, he had the privilege of seeing several UFOs of different sizes flying in fighter formation in the general direction of east to west over Europe. In 2005, Leroy Chow, an American astronaut and commander of the International Space Station, saw a set of strange lights in space during a spacewalk. While it could be dismissed as skeptical, he was not alone in seeing this upside down V formation. His crew saw it too, as it zoomed past their spaceship. Some skeptics say that it could have been the light emanating from a fleet of fishing boats along the South American coast. However, Chow was 230 miles above Earth when this happened, and for lights to be observed so high up is quite impossible. While Chow is reluctant to believe that aliens from another dimension may have visited Earth, he is not ruling out this possibility entirely. A NASA astronaut, Alan Bean, describes space as looking like shiny, black, patent leather shoes from the surface of the moon. However, as conspiracy theories go, Richard C. Hoagland believes that Alan Bean could possibly be seeing the space through the reflection of a glass dome left behind by an alien civilization from long ago. He based his theory on the premise that space, when observed from the moon, should be inky black, infinite, unending, deep and endlessly black. It shouldn't be shiny. The only explanation thus for the patent leather shoe shine is a glass dome somewhere in space. And if this were true, then an alien civilization is perhaps not such a distant dream now, is it? 
When you picture a UFO, what do you see? A saucer-shaped flying object with lights, perhaps? This image might be a consequence of Hollywood influence, or thanks to pictures posted by space fanatics. But cosmonaut Musa Minarov has a different story to tell. In 1991, during a Russian space station mission, he was watching a visiting space capsule dock nearby. While he was filming it, he saw a shiny object that seemed to be coming off the spacecraft. It was cylindrical in shape. This footage, which he caught on camera of an object floating down, was believed to be a UFO. While many have dismissed it as space junk, yet Monarov staunchly believes otherwise. While several astronauts are hesitant to speak about their sightings, especially ones that are bizarre and unbelievable and hover around UFOs, one person who had no qualms reiterating what he saw was Major General Vladimir Kovalyunok. In 1981, while working at the Salyut Orbital Station as part of a crew manning Salyut 6 space station, he saw something strange in one porthole. The object, which looked no bigger than a finger, was orbiting in space. He admits, however, that he cannot be absolutely sure about the size of this alien being. Just when his partner Victor Savinik was going to take a picture of it, the object, which they believed to be a UFO, unexpectedly exploded, leaving behind clouds of smoke. The object split into two interconnected pieces and looked very much like a dumbbell. While conspiracy theories regarding aliens in space and spacecraft from other worlds are available in abundance, the things that have been spotted by astronauts in space are open to interpretation. After all, since there is no way to prove or disprove these mysterious sightings, it does make one wonder. But what do I know?